What is a rack and pinion and why would I need one? We actually got a question from a viewer a couple weeks back about this subject, so we are answering this question today. Oh. Today, <laughs> as we talk about this, it's a little hard without having uh, the actual part here to show you, but when you're driving, your steering wheel turns a steering shaft. That shaft in turn, the steering rack the shaft goes into it and, it, and there's a rod in it, and it literally will move left and right as you steer. It's kind of a worm drive that'll move back and forth. That is connected with tie rod ends to your actual wheels. And as it goes back and forth, your tires will go left and right. So that's a very basic description of what a rack and pinion is. There's two major kinds of rack and pinions. There's the electronic style rack and pinions, which come in a lot of newer vehicles. It has an electronic motor that gives you steering assist, and it is a unit that typically requires some programming. It is, has a lot of advantages in that it doesn't create parasitic draw on your engine, but it is something that we haven't run into replacing a lot of those yet. They're fairly new. Most of what we experience is the hydraulic style rack and pinions. So in a power steering system, you have a power steering pump and it's on your motor. It's driven by the serpentine belt. That creates hydraulic pressure to the steering rack and pinion. As you steer one way, it creates hydraulic pressure to assist you back and forth. And it makes steering a lot easier and softer. Uh, older cars typically had manual steering, so they're kind of hard to turn, especially in a parking lot. And power steering, that power function of it is the assist. And, th and that's what most steering rack and pinions do, is they assist in making the steering less pressure. The seals on the outer ends or the input can wear out and begin to leak. In those kind of situations, typically a rack will have to be replaced. Oftentimes the bore inside of the, sh inside of the rack and the shaft begin to get play to where even if you put a new seal, they still leak out. So oftentimes if it gets to that point, yes, you should probably get a rack and pinion. Some shops recommend a rack and pinion over an inner tie rod end, over a torn boot, over an input shaft seal leak, and those are parts that actually are replaceable or repairable. And so oftentimes you don't have to go through an entire rack and pinion uh, re repair. So. Being able to, if you're told that you need one, able to ask the shop. If you're at a different shop, just being able to ask, can you explain this to me? I don't quite understand what it is. Can you just show me? I want to see what it is. And is there any other option? Or is this what I have to do or is there another option? And oftentimes being able to see it, most shops are willing to show you. Um, however, there are some that are looking for the big dollar transaction and rack and pinions typically are not very cheap. Don't be surprised if a shop recommends with a rack and pinion, possibly ball joints, possibly control arm bushings. And the reason for this, just so you can understand, the alignment adjustments are in this rack and pinion. The, the, the main adjustments, which is for toe. And toe is how your wheels are, are properly placed, whether they're towed in or towed out. And that's what will make the car pull one way or the other, or wear tires out, and so, when they do a rack and pinion, they're going to need to do an alignment. But in order to do an alignment, they have to be sure the rest of the suspension is okay. So that's not an attempt to upsell. That's just because they have to. So in order to get the alignment done, your ball joints have to be correct. Your control arm bushings, uh, any of the other suspension components have to be tight for them to do an alignment. The advantage is, once your suspension is all tight, tire wear will be better, car will obviously drive better. Uh, better fuel economy, the, the vehicle will roll down the road like it was meant to. And so that's not necessarily an upsell, so don't be alarmed or surprised by that, but it is required. Thank you for all that information, Derek. That is definitely informative. So if you like that video, go ahead and push like, comment below, let us know what you think, let us know if that answered your question, share this video, and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you next week.